You ready? You ready? Let's All go. right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful punch. This double leg shot. Oh, the crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But no, people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal. Because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get inside the side. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just misses there with the left. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice loop and punch. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh! Oh! Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he was hurt. Left hand punch from the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. Oh! Oh, and he lands an elbow! Serve him up. We'll get him. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Big hit land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Got a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You can see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this field. Round two here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. So try to take him down. There you go. Oh, he slams his opponent down. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 
Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Takes down, cut, take down, cut. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. Double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. His double leg shot. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Your face. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfect. All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mincemeat with that ground and pound in the previous oh, round. Oh, he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transitions into the elbows. I mean, he was so he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, jiu-jitsu goes out the window when you're. Not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. He's, he's limping now. He's limping now. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the Matt Johns papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up and see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Submission beautifully executed there on the back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen,